Laura Magoulis and welcome back to the Wolf and the Crows. Uh, honest movie reviews this week, Andy. What have I got for them this week? Extraction starring Chris Helmsworth. Um, and it's on Netflix now. Netflix just out this week or last no. last week. Not out long. Um, the reason why I'm, I'm talking, I guess, is because it was it's just so high octane. It's a high octane roller coaster ride. Do you know what I mean? It's full, full of uh, full of adventure and uh, action. Very uh, hardcore, hardcore action film. Aye, uh, big time. No yeah. love story. Big time, and that's no, not too many people know. I don't think that my favorite film is Predator. And one of the main reasons for that is because there's no love story in it. Uh, it's just straight up fucking, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bro movie. Nitty, 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 gritty, fucking violent yeah. action film. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm going to say this about it. Go. Right? Um, I have seen this film a hundred times before. There was nothing new. There's nothing new in this. Well, there, there, there's a few. There's, there's, there's a. But before before we get onto that, into the yeah. film, it's uh, directed by uh, Sam um, Hargrave. It's his first first feature film. Yeah, Wolverine stuntman. Wolverine stuntman in uh, the Wolverine. Uh, he was also a stunt coordinator on Avengers, uh, Deadpool, Suicide Squad, Hunger Games, um, Atomic. Blonde, a few other bits. Of, he, he also gave himself a wee acting role in this as well. Yeah. So he did. Um, gave himself a character name too, Gaten or something. And he was a, he's done some sort of small acting roles. He was a mercenary in Birds of Prey as well. You know that class film? Oh, you love that. Big time. Oh. Uh, probably oh. top five of 2020. Yeah. From 2020, anyway. Um, um, helping him with this as well, you've got the Russo brothers. Yeah. Joe Russo uh, wrote this, and yeah. uh, him and his brother Anthony um, produced it. That's yeah. obviously the uh, the team, the sort of dream team behind Avengers. Oh, I the Russo the Russos and uh, Hargrave. They're they're late now. Um, and of course, set in India, which um, you know was a nice touch. We never see movies set in India really because India has its own. Bollywood, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So like any Indian film, they make their own stuff, whereas we have now a film set in India. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which I was all, oh, that's really refreshing, right? In ba Bangladesh, yeah. A uh, big time. It's based on, it, this is based as well on a, on a graphic novel. novel right. Uh, called uh, Cludad. Right. I haven't seen it myself. I might read it. Fuck it. Read comics online, probably, have it. Yeah, yeah. Probably just read it online. Um, but like I was saying, the film has nothing new about it. But I still enjoyed it because it's just Chris Helmsworth's really good at it. Yeah, Be, you know, his acting's good in it. Do you know, he's. Fucking, it's like the fight sequences in it are like the born identity. But Chris Hemsworth's massive, so he's able to do more yeah. fucking power moves. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, he did that other film, uh, 12 Strong, that was on Netflix yeah. as well. Have you seen it? Yeah, good shit. Good shit. Unfortunately, he also did uh, that new Ghostbusters female version one. Yeah, I haven't seen it, hey. Um, I cycled yeah. through it, and then I saw the Scooby-Doo graphics, and it was all, this film doesn't exist. That's one yeah. I mean, the decision that Ghostbusters doesn't exist. I was, I was maybe him trying to get away from the action rules, but... Um... Yeah. Nah. Stick the way you have a Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. He's a fine figure, yeah, man. Like, you know what I mean? He's grabbing boys, and he's just fucking firing them across the room, breaking arms and fucking... Um, you know, it's great. Just beating boys. Yeah, but like, um, not nothing new, nothing new for me at all. But like, I highly, I still highly enjoyed it. You know, um, it's almost it's like about, what? So said it's also got a Hopper from uh, Stranger Things, David Harbour. Yeah, 
And it's, to me, it's almost like the Russo brothers were like, right, we've got this idea for a film, and it's just an action flick. Um, it's bringing nothing new to the table. But yeah, there's, there's, there's no people. There's, there's certainly no depth to the characters in it. It's just a well. I mean, you, you get you get Chris Chris Hemworth with his um his sort of sad backstory and you know he's on Standard. the on the drink and uh, yeah. you know sort of Bruce Willis diehard style you know yeah down and out drinking forget his sorrows mercenary heard it so many times before like you know but like yeah I'll hear it again fuck it you know what I mean um, yeah. There's a very good scene between him and so the whole premise behind the film is that there is a um drug kingpin right what basically yeah. warlord right and uh another drug uh, warlord kidnaps his son now um uh, the drug warlord the, the the first one we're talking about he's in prison and his son is outside living under protection of like what would you call that guy, he's he's a like bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he he sort of he's running the organization while while the boss is in in the clink. Yep, big time. And his son, the warlord's son, is kidnapped by uh, an opposing warlord, and fucking basically the the, the warlord in present says to his bodyguard, "You've got to, you've got to get him, or I'll kill your family." Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is hardcore as fuck. It's, a, it's, it, it's, it's motivation for him. What? It's motivation for him, like. Well, uh, yeah. Then we have um, the uh, warlord, like, uh, has a, the guy who kidnapped the warlord's son, the opposing warlord, he uh, he's a bad bastard, fucks kids off roofs, and stuff like this and he's kidnapped this warlord's son so yeah. we've got the bodyguard who's whose who's family is under threat by his own boss hiring in chris helmsworth's team to rescue the kid from the opposing warlord and yeah we've got um a fine array i thought of indian actors i mean there's one thing about yeah. it is is that the story is very generic, but like the, the, uh, the it just goes to show you the quality of Indian actors. You know what I mean? I don't watch too much Bollywood myself. I used to. It used to be on like really late, late at night, Channel 4. Do you know what I mean? I used to watch old Bollywoods and all. Did you? Just like, like every five minutes. This was like old school Bollywood where they used to like break out dancing every like, fucking five minutes. I mean, you got, you, there's there's some of them with fantastic fucking fight scenes in them, like battles and that. Oh no, Bollywood's bigger than Hollywood. Do you yeah. Know what I mean? Um, and you've got like, um, so that's why I was saying like, you know, it's really nice to see a, a film um set in in there and stuff like that. I mean, the guy who plays the bodyguard, I thought he was really good. Yeah, I thought he was a really good actor. You know, yeah, it's a uh, Randy uh, Huda. Yeah, like very like his his fight sequences were brilliant and stuff like that. There, yeah, I, I believe him and the the kid that plays the, the son that gets kidnapped, um, Rude Harsh uh, Jaswell. Both of them mm -hmm. this is their first sort of step outside Indian films, or um, I believe the kid does a lot of Indian TV as well. Right, okay. This is, this is the first thing they've done outside that arena. So, uh, breaking into the international market, then. Yeah. yeah. Um. The uh. The, the female in it that um, sort of hires or, or runs the the crack team that uh, Hemsworth's part of. Uh. She's a Golshifta for Far Far Farhani. Uh. Okay. She's a she's a French Iranian actor actress. Uh. She she's done a few things. She was in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um. She played a, a character not called Shansa. Shansa? Shansa. That's almost how Littlefinger says Sansa. It's, 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 it is, isn't it? That's what I thought when I seen it. Yeah. And then you she was there. You may say Sansa. Shans Sansa. Like that? 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, she was in a film, Exodus, uh, Gods and Kings, with Russell Crowe. Seen it. Um, Shay. Yeah, pretty much. She plays um, an Egyptian queen in that. Just, I was so looking forward to that film. I love Bubble. Uh, it, it looked like it had potential, like, didn't it? I love biblical stuff like you know you know all the old films way back in the day you know where they didn't have cgi so they just had to yeah. shoot shit massively love all them love them films man um but back to this um like music fitted it um helmsworth's performance great it's just a generic action film but i would highly advise watching it yeah, but what what about that um, that one shot single shot scene that they did? Oh, it was brilliant. Uh, about, about halfway halfway through the film, and um, the camera just seems to jump through the window of the car, and that's the start of it. Yeah. I mean, I was what I was watching that and going, "Fuck, this is amazing! Like, this is top class quality camera work." Like, yeah, and it just follows them around. Then, sort of Call of Duty style, as like a, a third a third person, sort of. Yeah. You know, go, going through the streets, jumping up. Even when he throws the kid off the roof, he jumps off the roof, and then the camera follows him off the roof yeah. onto another roof. Yeah, we're introduced to Chris Hemsworth's character, and like obviously he's Australian. Like, you know what I mean? So like, yeah. Australian special forces or some shit. This is what this man is, and you're probably thinking to yourself, he fought in Afghanistan. He done tour of Afghanistan. Now that's where the guilt comes from. Yeah, because his son had uh, lymphoma, and he decided to go away because he couldn't face his son dying. Yeah, so that's where the guilt comes from with uh, Hemsworth's character. You've got um, so it would lead you to believe he was in the Australian SAS or something like that. Do you know? And he's back home in Australia with two Aborigine Aboriginal guys. He's just chatting away, you know what I mean? He's sleeping and all that kind of shit. And they're up the really high cliff. I even thought that shot was brilliant. Yeah. I was like, holy fuck. He just jumps fucking clean off it. Really good. Yeah. Doing a bit of co-steering. A bit of co-steering. Yeah. And I timed it. Takes him four seconds to hit the water. So that means he's around about 80, 85 foot or feet up. So. What's your biggest jump? 80, 85 feet. Is it? Yep. Yeah. We play it's called Bally Hornin, uh, down and down near Down Patrick. You're basically Chris Helmsworth then. That makes you basically Chris Helmsworth. That's that's what it is. Yeah. Bobby Helmsworth. Yep. So um my final word on it is it's a bro film for bros. Yep. Nothing new in it, which is fine. That's okay. I wasn't expecting much. Um, um, actor performance is very good. I would fucking watch it if you didn't, you know, fucking. I would watch it if you you like you love action films. It's standard. Yeah, I say the same. Act, if you like action films, definitely give it a go. Yeah. And it, it's maybe leading the way too for um, a new style of action films. I mean, like we say, Sam Hargrave has never directed anything, you know, big before. He's a stunt coordinator. John Wick, John Wick director was exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So, so it was a uh, Chad Stalelsky. He was a a stunt coordinator that went yeah. in and started doing a bit of directing, and he directed John Wick ones. So, who who better to direct action films than stunt coordinators? Yeah, but you know, and it's, it's almost like yeah, here's a here's a generic story. There's a generic story um, that to, to try these techniques out with. And we'll fucking stick Helmsworth on it and get the guys on and all this type of stuff. But it's very good. Very yeah. good. What are you giving it? This? What? What are you giving it? I was thinking about that. Now, I would like to give it a four out of five. I was thinking maybe I should be more uh, unbiased. And maybe give it a three. Critical, that okay. guy. Critically, you know, you would give it a three, but I, I really enjoyed it, so I'm going to give it a four. I'll give it. I'll give it a four. Yeah. This is like, a th I would have done the exact same, but it gets an extra point. It gets a brew point, like a brew point. Like a I don't want 
Ain't none under here complaining, going, this is just a man's fucking action film. We're telling you that. It's a bro film. We're telling you that now. Do you know? So um, not to say that women wouldn't enjoy this. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Helmsworth's muscles are fucking huge in it. So, like, and, like, he's all stoboy and sweaty and all this here kind of stuff. So you should love that. Do you know what I mean? So how many are you giving it? Four. Four. So that's four, eight out of ten. Four, four wolves. Eight out of ten for extraction. Bro, bro score. Yeah. yeah. Eight out of ten. Big time. Eight out of ten. Give it a go. Nothing else today, have you? Right, too fucking right, man. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Right then. Well, that was, I enjoyed that one. We'll be fucking coming back at you. Um with another fucking review of both that's out on the TV and on the on the no in the cinema obviously um but stuff that's on the tv should i watch that there um i better ask a wolf on a cruise boom we'll tell you we'll fucking tell you sorry right. tomorrow night then we've got um the penultimate episode of season one on our rewatches episode nine is tomorrow night Fucking heartbreaker, boys. It's Tune in for that. 7 p.m. GMT. Uh, Thursday, I'll have a little story up for you. Uh, and then Sunday for the very final episode of season one then on our rewatches. Can't believe we're down to season one already. It's fluent, like, isn't it? Big time. Well, big style. Mad. Yeah. There's, oh, there's more to go, sure. Happy days. Right then. Excellent. What a what a movie. Get her watched. Right then, Bobby, if you want to shine out there, my old son. For the watch. Hi. The North Remember. Boom.